You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? So, how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? Oh, is it my turn to talk? Huh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's an Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. You really won't tell me what you're working on? That's right. Next question. What drew you to the remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make? You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? A certain independence might be helpful, yeah. Exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. That ex-friend I mentioned, my accomplice, she finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Nuh-uh-uh, -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. Fine, have your surprise. You won't regret it. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No, but I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now! If you will, please leave me to my own devices. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, 
What do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvi and Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the. Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, so... Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisoria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, wanna talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh. Let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. I have to admit, when you invited me to your apartment, I thought you might be luring me there for... something else. You thought, or you hoped? I might have been hoping. That hope had crossed my mind as well. If Kalinda hadn't intruded, who knows what might have happened. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this... stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah blah blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no... <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now? That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, Ryder. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Hytiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the Remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. I'm not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. You're very understanding. And attractive. Nice combination. 
think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Oh, come on, think. Think! I need... something. Who are you talking to? Ryder! Shit! You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just... talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius! It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. That's all I need to hear. And this... Should... do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. That'll be fun. Okay then. Say no more. Oh, you mean now? Here? <laughs> you do know what say no more means, right? Huh. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. <laughs> no, ooh, we're floating right into the, uh... Ouch. Who cares? Ow! Ow! <laughs> You're gonna be the gateway to so many great things, my friend. Hey there. You named her Pock? Yep. Proof of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped-up, nasty combat version. Zap. I like it. Yeah. It's edgy. The storage box from the vault on Eos was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of rem tech you got me. But our new Observer friends are just the beginning. I'm working on something even bigger. I'm all ears. So get this. We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right rem tech, we could scour the cluster for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. What would we be looking for? That's the point. We don't know what all is out there, so we don't know even what to look for. I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown, to find the never-before-found. Once I perfect this scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of Remtech. We can do that. You rock. Pock and Zap think so too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on Eos. I'll upload the coordinates. Hider, come in. We've got a problem. Go ahead, Callow. We've had an intruder, got on board and into PB's quarters. Her bot is gone. Pock? How the hell did that happen? Not sure. Someone knew what they were doing. They left an impressive piece of Remtech and a recorded message, relaying it now. Ryder, 
It's Kalinda Terev. Pelisari is... well... whatever she calls me these days. Please tell her thank you for the nifty bot. I trust the Remtech piece my crew took will be adequate payment? Oh, and no need to wait for my Krogan friend, Kranit. He and his outlaws work for me. Ta. <sighs> Shit! Why can't she just leave me alone? I take it you were lovers? Why? Think she's fixated or something? Ugh. To complete my scanner, I need access to the storage device in Pock. Kalinda's always been a troublemaker. Anything for a rise, and if there's a profit in it, all the better. I'm sorry you're catching her crap now, Ryder. You don't have to deal with this. I'll take care of it on my own, I promise. Hey, we're in this together. Uh, thanks. When I have a lead on getting Pock back, I'll let you know. Bitch stole my bot. Kadara Port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. In the absence of any others, it's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen... Each remnant system we've uncovered is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. I've been having zero-G daydreams. Me too. Want to find a discreet place and make the dream a reality? Absolutely. Mm. How much fun are we, huh? Back to business, Pathfinder. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. You are my new best friend. Ah, Ryder. I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend. What's your name again? Samrick. Right, right. Samrick here has been so sympathetic about Pock being stolen. He used to run with our pal Kalinda, and he knows where her crews congregate. Safe houses, rallying points, etc. Well, that makes Samrick a truly important person. He's having some trouble understanding that. Look, uh, I appreciate the drinks and the flattery and all, but... Kalinda doesn't take kindly to people discussing her business interests. She busted me up pretty bad when she kicked me out of her outfit. I don't really want to repeat. You're sitting in an open bar on Kadara Port with us. Kalinda will know, and she'll assume the worst. Yeah, and she probably won't be satisfied the first 30 or 40 times you scream your innocence. So you might as well tell us what we want to know. At least that way you get another free drink. Well, shit. Guess I can't argue with that. And I am still thirsty. Thanks, Ryder. I think he'll cooperate now. I'll know where to look for Pock soon. Ryder, he's got Pock. She's broken, though. Guess Kalinda didn't take very good care of her. Hey, I don't want any trouble. I found this site abandoned. By scavenger law, it's all mine. We're not here to fight you for it. That's a relief. I mean, good thing. Well, I'm a businessman, you see, so I'm willing to sell if you see anything you like. Did you see where the crew that used the site went? No. They were trouble, though. Led by a pain in the ass Asari with a mean as spit Krogan toady. They've been picking remnant sites clean all over. Never leave anything worthwhile behind. But, uh, they screwed up and left some choice items here, though. How much for that broken observer? What, this thing? Yeah, it may look trashed, but I assure you, it's easy to fix right up. In fact, I could do it myself and make a killing, so uh, no discounts. Right. This guy's gonna put her back together. You ever hear of an Asari named Kalinda Terev? That's the uh, pain in the ass Asari I stupidly mentioned. <sighs> Please don't tell her I called her that, or next time I see her, it's my ass. Yeah? So you better do right by us. Let's get down to business. Okay, look, what do you think is fair for the Observer? Take this, and consider yourself lucky. Yep, that'll do. 
Pleasure doing business with you. I'll get her to the Tempest and put her together. Thank you, Ryder. Maybe this Kalinda nightmare is over. Don't start going naive on me, PB. <sighs> yeah. Regardless, I can upgrade my remnant scanner now. Come see me back at the ship. There you are. Hi. Okay, who stole PB and put you in her clothes? Not funny. It's a little funny. Okay, it's a little funny. I received this. Hey babe, sorry I broke your pet. It lacked versatility. Couldn't keep up? Maybe I'll do the same with your other new toy. Ta. She means you. I hate her. Really? Are you sure about that? Oh, I don't know. It's not that she took my bot and broke her. We got Pock back and I repaired her. Better than ever. Now my scanner's fully upgraded and sweeping the cluster for remnant signals. We won. So what's the problem? It's just... drummed up feelings I thought I'd put behind me. Turns out I just buried them. This is what happens when you let people in. You acquire baggage. I travel light, damn it. No baggage. Want to go back to the escape pod and see what happens? Well, that could help. But... better not. I let Kalinda become important to me. Look where that ended up. Now you've become, or you're becoming, important. But you need to know, I resist checking out of this hotel every day. With accommodations like these, I don't blame you. You are funny. I just need a little space. Time to think. Hopefully, my now Remtech-infused scanner will pick up something amazing and make all this Kalinda trouble worthwhile. Hey there, what's new? Ha! Huh, funny you should ask. I need to know, if I had something really important to do, could I count on you to help, to come along? Important important, or stress relief important? <laughs> this time, important important. Thanks to my newly remnant augmented scanner, I'm onto something big. Hear that signal? Best I can tell, it's coming from a piece of raw remnant programming tech. A building block in an unused state. My eyes bulge thinking what we might be able to learn from it, or do with it. It's like a rem tech wild card. The kind of mystery I live for. I have to get it. There's no time to waste, right? What are the implications of this device, whatever it is? At the very least, it'll strengthen our bridge to remnant technology. Even just getting closer data readings could help us break down remnant programming, use their tech more efficiently. I need to find it. Like, now. Well, now that now's gone, so... now! Okay. That's it? No preamble, no further interrogations, just okay? You're in? I'm in. Yes! That your game means the world to me. Loading the coordinates into the galaxy map. Consider me primed and ready. Where's PB? I thought she'd be here. Wake up, PB. Your mystery signal awaits. Uh, right. Okay, yeah. Actually, could you come here, please? My place. Straight away. Callow. Hey, any luck finding a place to land? Nothing yet. Might take a while. Okay, PB. Be right there. I'm not missing this. PB? Back here. I won't bite. Uh, I'm not alone. Okay, I won't bite either of you. What's this about? Kala won't find a safe place to land the Tempest. And safety first! You keep me on my toes, PB! This is ill-advised. I'm not doing this for the fun of it! The Tempest can't go where we need to be, and you can't get there from the ground. This is the only way in. In? Where exactly are we going? Evie, where are we going? 
It's not my fault the signal's coming from inside a volcano. And we should land on stable ground, assuming my subterranean scans are accurate. And the impact doesn't alter trajectory too severely. And... And tell me you have a plan for getting back to the Tempest. Is that a thing? We came all the way to another galaxy with no plan for getting back home. All right. Brace for impact. So, um, uh, are you mad, Ryder? I'm not mad, PB. Make sure they don't get inside. A triple share to whoever brings me their sweet implants. Man, I hate her. Are you kidding me? How many guys does she have? Melinda's about to get the device. There goes PB. You won't make it, Kalinda. Too late, gal. It's mine. Damn it! Hey, stranger. How are you doing? Has she delivered? We just received a massive shipment of remnant tech, quite valuable. And this. Pelisaria, with my compliments, my crew won't bother you again, and you're dead. Always Kalinda. I'm inclined to believe her. You? I'd like to. Being a fingertip away from death can change a person. Still, Best if we scan everything she sent over. Better safe than sorry. I just wish we could have had that device. The scan data does provide a glimpse into how Remnant acquire programming, though. So we missed out on a key to unlocking secrets of the tech. But maybe came away with a glass to listen at the door. We do have a little bookkeeping matter to discuss. Ah, oh, nuts. Yeah, the Tempest is light one escape pod. That's gonna cost me, isn't it? We'll get a new one the next time we dock at Nexus. Don't sweat it. Wow. Thanks, Ryder. But until then, what do I do for a bedroom? Mine's pretty big. And comfortable. Comfortable, huh? Never made much difference to me. Gee, that's too bad. But... People change, right? Who knows? Maybe even I can. Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. I'm just going to come out with it. I want you, Ryder. More than friends, more than lovers. I want strings. All the strings. If you don't want the same thing, I know how uncomfortable it would be to say it to my face. So, at the beep, just let me know. Do you want to be with me? For real? Either way, uh, join me in the meeting room, huh? Um... Beep... 
So, uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. She just showed up. She did ambush me, but I survived. No harm, no foul, huh? I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This... family. That... that's really it. Uh, okay? About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. It's an ungotten holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but... PB, I want to be with you. Only you. Hey, are you okay? I shudder to think what the Archon meant to do with you. And I hated watching you... die like that. I think of myself as daring and death-defying, but you? You are daring. I had to up my game. Well, you win. <laughs> Jackass. Just don't get yourself exalted, okay? That asshole means to ketify us all. Can't let that happen. But he's close. He's almost figured out Krogan. It's the scariest thing. Ugh. Let's talk about something else, okay? Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Don't make me blush. At least, not in public. This is a new side of you. I want to show you all my sides. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. A nightcap for you. When you're ready, call and I'll come running. With a surprise. PB. PB? I'm ready for my surprise. Hey, yeah. Come, join me. Oh, no, no. You don't give the orders here. Whose surprise is this, anyway? Maybe that's the surprise. Even on your back, you keep me on my toes. Let's reenact how we met. Do you know about... Asari melding? Our bodies and minds weave together, become one. I've never trusted anyone enough. Never trusted myself. I've got you. You're safe with me. Ryder. I... I can't believe it. It's so quiet. We are one. This is all ours now. great before, but that was just the tip of the iceberg. This now means so much more. This is where I belong. Nice speech. 
You've inspired the entire crew. They're running around like monkeys getting ready for the big showdown. But not you, apparently. You inspire me, Ryder. In ways that are surprising even to me. I've got Remtech repurposed all over the place, and Pox souped up and raring to go. We'll keep you in one piece. I don't like seeing you suffer. Without Sam, it looks like interfacing with the Remnant hurts. A lot. It would hurt a lot more without you. <laughs> I'll let the schmaltz go, because I want a kiss after all this. Just a kiss? I like that I make you greedy. Smile for the camera, babe. Sam's broadcasting, everyone's watching. They all want a nice big close-up of the hero who single-handedly saved the galaxy. What about you? And now they all know you're mine. Well, hello. Hello yourself. Eyes front, try not to swoon. I want you... I want you more. I need proof. Soon. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh! I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I going to do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. <clears throat> Making a quiet exit? It's no fun having the boss at the party. Have you asked? I wager that most would disagree. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule, but you defined it. Meridian is humanity's home, and maybe one for all of Helios. We did that, but I'm the Pathfinder. I should be out there on the Tempest with all of you. Let's go home. You, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It 
left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. I think a charm offensive might be more... rewarding. Mm, yes. Classic irresistible hero, pretend to be captured. Beat up armor, enticing scars, and soulful eyes. Yeah, yeah, the old dinner and drinks to show off my villainy. They get cozy. And then strike! <laughs> or not. <laughs> Why spoil the evening? Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varum's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait! Lesson! Rats. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Don't make me dare you, dearest. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. Kalo. Kalo, please, not now. Not when we're so close. Ryder. You must... Go! Uh... It won't end this way. There's no justice in this galaxy. But there will be. Do me next. I swear to love you a thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax, so many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. <laughs>